owners of, um, first of all, over at Costco, I often get their, their Costco pizza. So, um, Jonathan have already gotten into this. So, this is a uh, uh, meat lovers. It's pepperoni and sausage. It's $9.99 for a large Costco pizza. And then I always get the small slices, which comes into 18 slices. Now, what I usually do if the kids have already eaten, is that I will put this into like the um, the freezer Ziploc bags and then I'll place it into the freezer. It's um, more convenient and easier for the kids to be able to take it out of the freezer or the refrigerator once into the Ziploc bags and then I'll warm it or heat it up when they want something um, for either after school uh, or if they wanted to pack it uh, for school. So I get this rather than the frozen pizzas and you can't beat it for $9.99 it's huge and very flavorful so the kids love that I'm gonna go ahead and put that away all right friends so let's go ahead and start off over here these um, these are from Costco went ahead and got um, burgers over at Costco so we got some burger buns and I think these are like I don't know $3.99 it's a lot so what I usually do is just I place them into the refrigerator downstairs so that it's not um, staying out into the counter so it has more of a shelf um, shelf life and then I got these uh, ground patties they're $17.49 quarter pound uh, over at Costco and it lasts us a long time for that and then Costco muffins I believe is $6.99 um, this time they didn't really have much of a variety that my kids would really like so they do like this one which is the chocolate I believe this is the the vanilla chocolate but they also like that um the coffee cake one and they did not have that one so i went ahead and got them the the chocolate on chocolate double chocolate uh, muffins so two pack for 6.99 you can't beat that over at um, costco and i tried to oh over at Costco, I always try to get items that are on sale, so I go through the freezer aisle each time that I go, trying to see which items are on sale. This one is the crispy, fully cooked Tyson uh, crispy chicken strips. I like these better than like the, um, the chicken nuggets. This one is currently on sale for $8.99 a bag, so pick one, uh, one of those up. And I like to get the soups when they're on sale also, but unfortunately, I've been waiting for like a couple of weeks. They have not been on sale. So I went ahead and bought this regular price, and it's still not bad for $7.79. I got the chicken tortilla soup. This is one of our um, favorite soup from Costco. And then, just to, um, <laughs> to let you guys know how we eat this, the Doritos are on sale. This huge bag of Doritos is three dollars and 49 cents otherwise i would not buy it it's just way too much unless i was making like a taco dorito salad then i get them over at costco but um, we all put doritos onto our bowl and then once this is warm up and then i also add extra cheese in here when i warm it up into the stove top then we pour it over the bowl that has the the nacho cheese at the bottom and then we eat it like that it just adds a bit of a crunch to it and then also I do like this when my avocados are ripen. Uh, if I have a lot of avocados and they're ripen, I'll dice them up and then I'll put them on top just like how it has it here and it really tastes really good. So got that. And then this is one of our favorite um, sausages over at Costco. I, I like to buy this over at Costco because I think this is $7 and it is three separate packages. And this one is the pineapple and bacon. We also get the, um, I think it's the smoked apple one, which is really good. And then there was one that's, I think, a jalapeno that's really good as well. So we try to to, um, to get one of those varieties, um, especially during the spring and the summer when we're always grilling. Okay, so then I got these organic uh, frozen sweet corn. I love to grill this. When I'm grilling my veggies, I'm going to show you guys the veggies from um, from Trader Joe's. I love to add on the um, the white sweet corn. It just, um, grilling your, your corn just adds so much more flavor to it rather than just boiling it um, onto the, the stove top. That's what I have found. So let me go ahead and put this aside. And then I bought... Um, a box of ramen so again I buy this when it's on sale I am um, usually it'll be on sale for six dollars but today it was not on sale but I have noticed that if I don't have a box of ramen the kids tend to like just really go through the pantry 
of like unhealthy foods. This one, when they're when they're hungry after school, they can easily just put it into the stove top um, with water and then put that in there. And then I do have my veggies grilled, so then they can always add it on to their ramen if they um, lessen the the lessen the liquid. So I I like to have ramen around the house because one, it's it's not good for you, but um, if you guys can see my food here, I don't have like Oreos or a lot of cookies. So these are the kids' snacks um, for after school. So that's why I, I get those. And it's a, also an easy meal when I have my three-year-old and it's so hard to feed her. And I've tried everything else. Ramen always worked. So I do like to get the, the packaged ramen over at Costco. Again, this is like $8. And I did get... Um, these large bell peppers. I believe this was, I want to say $6.99. Um, it's got two red, two orange, and two yellow. And I like, what I like to do with this is that I do like to grill this. Like I said, um, spring is, um, is here over at Pacific Northwest, even though it's still cold. So we are going to be, start to grill a lot. I will grill this and then I will grill it along with all the other veggies here, the onions, sweet potatoes, and then have it, um, ready available into the refrigerator. The kids can add this onto the, to the ramen or add it onto, um, the TV dinners that I get at Trader Joe's. So that's what I do, it's just I like to, to grill stuff. So tomatoes over at Costco, I wanna say this was like four, four ninety nine. the Roma tomatoes. And I, when you buy your fruits or your vegetables over at Costco, always turn it upside down because there is just so, um, so much fruits in there that they don't really last as long, even though the, um, even though People are all constantly buying it, and you know workers do 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 a great job of um, making sure that it's it's has good quality. But there are times when I have found, especially the tomatoes, to where it's like wet on the inside. So if it's wet on the inside, don't buy it. Um, I've always had experience to where that's always um, the fastest ones to to get moldy and stuff like that. So I figured this was a good one. There's some green ones in there, so it'll take a while to. Um, to ripen. Also got some organic baby portobello mushrooms. I'm gonna um, grill this along with my um, with my bell peppers. So can't wait to do that one. And then when I do that, what I do is with the corn, I'll grill the corn separately with the um, the black beans over there and the the red onions. Okay, so got that. And then at Costco again, this was on sale, so we use this a lot. My kids use this. I use this. Hubby uses this. This is our go-to moisturizer, so it's nice when they have it on sale. I think it's two for eleven dollars currently, um, because usually I'll buy it over at Target. Um, it's either seven dollars or eight dollars for one um, for one tube of this. So it's nice that they had that on sale. And then, as you guys know, I always get a rotisserie chicken. Tonight, what I will do is I'll separate the white meat and the dark meat. And then um, while the kids are prepping up for bed or maybe I can do it tomorrow, I'll put the, the whole bones in there into a big pot, add some water, and then um, make my own chicken broth out of that one. Okay, so I think that is it for Costco. Oh wait, I'm sorry. Um, Costco, I also needed some uh, granulated garlic, uh, uh, California garlic powder. So this one was $5.99. This lasts forever. Got that, and then hubby has a sweet tooth. We all have a sweet tooth around here. But um, I got this one, Sea Salt Caramel Sanders. It is normally eight something, I think. So it was on sale for $6. So this is like a, a hidden, hidden treat. So it's not readily available for people to just, even hubby and I, to just get out of the pantry. So when we have this, it's usually one. We each uh, have one as a treat, and then we put it away. Okay. So now this one is over at Trader Joe's. So I got um, my veggies. With Costco, I like to buy things that are on sale, especially like the frozen or the pantry needs, such as that. But when it concerns the vegetables, I will buy this over at um, the cost Costco because it was $4.99 and I know I needed a lot of tomatoes. So I'll get that over there. And then I know I needed um, a lot of mushrooms because this mushroom was, I believe, $5. And you can't beat this for a whole pack of uh, mushrooms. I'm going to grill that all at once because I don't like to keep mushrooms into the refrigerator um, for too long. I like to kind of cook it once I purchase it. So I'll, um, I'll grill this tomorrow. 
but then over at Trader Joe's I do like to buy um, small portions of my veggies before I used to buy my salad greens over at Costco and it was cheap $3.99 $4.99 for the salad greens but I to be honest with you once it's open it doesn't last um, as long so I tend to have thrown out half of it and I always feel bad when I throw out food so at cost um, I'm sorry Trader Joe's this is only a dollar ninety nine this is the champ um, salad mix and what I do is that um, once I open it up the night before then I'll save a little because the, the kids don't pack a lot of it but they do like the salads at school I have a little um, bento box container for them so then I'll set aside um, the salads for hubby's lunch or in the kids lunch the following week and then we'll eat the the rest of the salad the night that I open it so I this bag really works out for me compared to the large ones over at Trader um, at Costco. I don't like to waste them. Okay, so I always get one of these wasabi roasted seaweed snack. You can just eat this plain or you can have it over warm rice. Or what I do is that sometimes for mac and cheese because I'm not a cheese person. So I'll, sh I'll cut a little bit of um, shredded um wasabis and put it on top of the mac and cheese when it's done and as it's cooling off it melts it really good i like it like that but also i like to put it into like the ramens or the noodles whatever noodles i have sometimes i have fresh yakisoba noodles or mimi noodles or canton no uh, noodles which is the filipino um egg noodles so i'll put that on top of that along with the grilled veggies okay this one is from trader joe's i think 2.99 zucchini squash there is four of them in here I grilled this along with the bell peppers as well so I love my veggies grilled and then we went to get a couple of pastas this one is the 99 cents for these bags this one's rigatoni I like to use this when I make my um, homemade mac and cheese I do the only mac and cheese that I really really buy um, is the one from Trader Joe's every haul you guys see me do is I have one of those a couple boxes of those But when I make my homemade mac and cheese, um, I do like to use um, like the larger um, The larger noodles for it Danielle or Danny picked out these colorful noodles. I like to use this with like um with Italian dressing so this is perfect what I'll do with them in, in the morning or the night before um, school is that I'll boil them and then I'll add the, the grilled veggies and then also the, the light uh, vinaigrette or the light um, Italian dressing onto them and that's what they pack for school. And then also those rotisserie chicken, I'll shred it and then I'll add it on top of, of that as well. So when I do shop, as you guys can see, it's like I do abundance of the, the grilled vegetables. I'll put that aside because I can always use that throughout the week for my meals and then I'll have the pasta or the chicken or the TV dinners and then that is um, side dishes along with with the the meal that they get and then they get the the protein I got that I got some spaghetti and then these are the veggies that I got even though I got all those bell peppers I don't know I felt like I needed some green uh, bell peppers along with it and then I like to grill them with the the red onion and then I got a bag of sweet potatoes. This is only $1.79. And then the avocados are $3.49 for these ones. I usually get the teeny. It's called like the teeny avocados. They're $2.99 for like I think six of them. But these are not so big. So I like the I like the size of that. So I opt that for that one. And I think this was just $3.49. So a uh, great deal. Okay, let's just go start off over here. These are the kids' snacks. You guys have seen me with uh, these little um, hold the cone. Danica, our three-year-old, this is her outmost, most favorite dessert. She'll get this and then she'll actually share it with everybody. That's her job to just open up the, the freezer because we have the bottom freezer. And then she'll pull it out. She'll, give, she'll pass it out to everybody and then everybody will have a treat. And it's a perfect size and it's very flavorful. I think it's either $2.29 or $2.99. And then I will buy um, one or two of these during my... Um, my shopping trip over at uh, Trader Joe's. The kids love to bake, so it's a good um, baking experience for them, whether it's Danny 9, Danielle 15, or Jonathan 17, because these are so flavorful over at Trader Joe's. This one is cinnamon sugar. They actually uh, did a couple ones of uh, the ones I made, I bought last 
um, last time of um, whether it was oh the truffles they did that one too but they like this one so I bought this a couple times before um, Danny nine years old wanted to get this one organic apple strawberry I don't get these for Danica she never liked them but Danny does the nine-year-old so she'll pack this for school and I like to get these hubby loves his granola bars in the morning he's not a bacon and eggs kind of guy he just loves his granola bar it's just quick and easy and I got the nutty chocolate chewy coated and drizzled granola bars two boxes of that then I have been loving this over at Trader Joe's so this is only like two dollars organic white quinoa so I I like to cook this with the chicken broth that I made and then I just flavor it with salt and pepper and then all these grilled veggies and then also plus the chicken I then put that on top of this and then I'm good to go got that okay and then over here I got the mac and cheese you guys know this is our go-to mac and cheese the kids love this very flavorful and that's the thing about Trader Joe's is I do love the prices and then also the the quality of that and then hubby likes this one which is the pepperoni pizza mac and cheese just got one box of that and then um anchovy fillets i kind of want to make my own um uh what do you call that salad i can't think of it right now um caesar salad so i want to make my own caesar salad so i bought this just to try how to make my own so i'm gonna experiment on that because i have never made my own caesar salad okay black beans two cans of that and what I'm going to do with those black beans is the the white corn when I grill the white corn along with the onions I'm going to mix it with the black um, black beans and they did not have cilantro over at Trader Joe's today but I will also get um, fresh cilantro when I do make it add it in there and then just um, flavor it with maybe uh, balsamic vinegar a little bit of that drizzle and then um, add it on to my salad along with the chicken I'm good to go all right so I've got some roasted garlic uh, marinara sauce also got some organic marinara sauce organic kidney beans this is for my uh, for my chili so one can of black beans and then one can of uh, kidney beans I do have a recipe here when I did use my uh, pressure cooker so you guys can check that out turned out really good and then this one is the California sun-dried tomato so this is the first um, new item for me of buying this one I would want to make this one with uh, my pasta so or actually with the uh, quinoa or the pasta um, along with the chicken add that in there and again like I said it's either with the balsamic uh, vinegar or I also bought this one which is the red wine and olive oil vinaigrette that one okay got that and then I got this one I wanted to try this one out as well this one is the mushroom and herb risotto this is two dollars and 49 cents so I wanted to see how this tastes and um and add it on uh, to the meals or the frozen meals with that and then okay I wanted to talk about this later on but I have been really wanting like really rich um, coffee so once in a while I buy this and they they last a long time in my pantry 100% Colombian um, instant coffee this does not require your coffee maker so sometimes the Keurig just doesn't cut it for me and I really want a strong strong coffee or else some of my recipes um, call for like an instant coffee that's why I like to have this into the pantry and then like I said this was the Trader Joe's organic red wine and olive oil vinaigrette classic Italian dressing so um, compared to the like the other Italian dressings that I've used the, at the other regular grocery stores this seems to be a lot more darker so I wanted to check um, try that out and then I got the the red the balsamic, balsamic vinegar and then this one so this is a new item for Trader Joe's it's the okay my friend <laughs> I had, had to ask my friend how to pronounce it guchuchang guchuchang spicy Korean style hot pepper paste so whenever I go to um, Korean restaurants one of the main um, dish that I always order is the um, hot stone bibimbap and I like to add this on to flavor because the bibimbap is just basically the veggies that are like um, steam and then you have the rice and then you have um, the 
edge over easy on top so it doesn't really have that much flavor so this is what you can use to actually uh, flavor it this type of uh, spicy Korean paste so I wanted to check that out oh and I have this over here because I'm actually gonna throw this out so it's been in the freezer for a while and I showed you guys how we always buy the the hold the cone so one time I tried this out because this is actually very popular with Trader Joe's this is the gone bananas well I don't know if I'm actually gonna throw it out so maybe just leave it there but my family did not like this Danica the three-year-old did not like this at all so this was kind of like a, a little waste so they were I don't know they just they just didn't like it but yet it is one of the popular uh, frozen desserts over at Trader Joe's and then this one also um, it's a dollar ninety nine cold brew latte did not like this one at all it's a very watered down coffee uh, popsicle so it didn't have that um, the rich and creamy taste to it it just seemed like it's just coffee <laughs> watered down um, because of the, the latte so there they didn't add no cream to here it didn't have um, a good flavor to it at all so just wanted to share that with you guys from experience and then Danny had gotten this one this is the organic low-fat yogurt vanilla flavor so I had bought those um, those granola bars with the chocolate or chocolate or peanut butter flavoring to it so I like to add that onto my yogurt and so we got this over at Trader Joe's for that for breakfast and this is their one out of all these I think the only dessert I really have is this one and then the cones and then the the box one so this is the family's go-to cookies it's the spickless cookies like a dollar ninety nine over at Trader Joe's and then the coffee creamer um, got that one and then hubby and Jonathan like that I like that one as well but you know what I'm, I really want to start really going back into my routine so instead of the creamer for my coffee I wanted to go ahead and try this almond beverage original non-dairy um, I used to buy this a long time ago like two years ago and then I stopped buying it and then I just I just didn't even think about it. I just went ahead and with the regular milk because of the the kids here they like regular milk. Nobody drank this but me. But now like I'm really starting to just go back and just not have so much of the cow's milk and have more of like the nut milk. May it be the cashew milk or the the almond milk um or the coconut milk. Um I want to go back and just go towards that um that aspect um i don't like it in my cereal i like the regular cow's milk but i do like it in like the smoothies and then i want to use it for my creamer okay friends i think that is it uh oh i'm so sorry okay i was saving this for last so these are a couple of my new items i showed you guys like these are new items but this one is also another new item so i saw this when i was going through all the peanut butters and what i have been eating um in the morning and like i said i'm trying to get into this um, new routine um, spring is here we can be more active over here in the Pacific Northwest and so I'm being more cautious cautious is the word I don't want to put myself on a diet because it's just all diets fail but I want to be more cautious of what I eat that's why I'm going back into the grilling but now I've been having my oatmeal it's just the instant oatmeal and this is why I bought this also instead of using the the cow's milk which is two percent I want to start using this one over my oatmeal and then also to flavor it instead of sugar or um, um, other sweeteners I have been using um, peanut butter and the only peanut butter I have at home is the Skippy which is not a healthy peanut butter but the kids love it so I wanted to try this out this is the crunchy salted peanut butter with flax and chia seeds is it chai seeds or chia seeds so I always pronounce it chia seeds so um, this was only like three dollars and then this is the other peanut butter I wanted to try this is the Trader Joe's mixed nut butter it has dry roasted and salted almonds cashews walnuts uh Bra brazil nuts hazelnuts and pecans so i can't wait to try this one out this one is a lot more pricey of 5.99 so put that over like um celery sticks instead of toast apples and then also over uh, my oatmeal along with the almond milk so can't wait to try that out Okay, I think I covered everything. Um, as always, friends, thank you guys for visiting A Simply Simple Life with all the different videos that I do share with you guys. I always appreciate you guys stopping by. Mahalo!